Calling all foodies, the wait is over. The Backdoor Bakery in Sunland Tahanga is officially open once again. It's very gratifying, it's a relief, it's exciting um, and fun. We, we couldn't wait till they opened up and we were so excited. And um, it's bigger and better and nice location. This is fun, it's very cafe, girly girl kind of cafe. On Mother's Day 2014, Deborah got the most horrific news. The bakery in which she poured her heart and soul into burned to the ground. As devastating as it was, it never derailed her from plans to reopen. Councilmember Fuentes knew what the backdoor bakery meant to the Sunland Tahunga community. That's why he worked hand in hand with the Goodales to find this location. 20 months later, the backdoor bakery opened to welcoming customers. When I saw that they were opening at this location, I was excited, not only because they were coming back, but because it's closer to where all the stuff is, so I think this is a good location for them. It's more, it brings in a lot more people, I would think. The Backdoor Bakery is located not far from the old place. It's now in the heart of the communities. It's bigger, has two patios and more seating. In the back, we have our production kitchen, our commissary, so that we can kind of wholesale to ourselves. Deborah always knew she'd be back. She said so a year and a half ago. Uh, we'll be back. We'll definitely be back. And um, I can't wait better than ever. Bigger and better. Ah, I'm, I'm uh, prescient. <laughs> Clairvoyant. I knew it. <laughs> For sure glad she decided to stay. For Council District 7, I'm Cheryl Gachwiza.